We're, talk, we're talking about a mythical fish, sea run cutthroat, and we're going to talk about winging materials because winging materials are really important. And I like you to see some of the stuff that's out there. So, one of the standards, your northern bucktail, it's plain old white, worked for a million years, still works. Kiptail, kiptail's great. Uh, Pseudo hair, really cool stuff. Synthetic, makes really nice winging on bait fish. That patterns. breathes almost. Oh, it's good it does, stuff. Yeah, it does. it's tapered. Uh, Arctic fox. I've got a. You can get at least a dozen flies out of one of these things. Now. Don't get Arctic Fox body hair. You need Arctic Fox tail hair. Uh, um, enough said. You, you can buy small patches. Uh, it's actually circle from it. I recommend just getting a full tail. It's absolutely amazing stuff. Uh, winging material. Plain old deer body hair for a bucktail caddis type of fly. Uh, pheasant. I had some around here. Pheasant tail fibers, um, peacock hurl. These are all things. Now, of the of all those selections, the one you're ones you're going to use most often are your whites for your light color and your darks. So, if if you had to only choose two materials, I'd go with the Arctic Fox and your deer body. Arctic Fox um, is so easy to tie with. Bucktail makes great wings. Kiptail does also. It's just a little bit dicier to tie with. And one other thing I forgot to mention is white deer body hair, which I have some. Ah, here we go. It's white deer belly hair. Really nice stuff. Uh, body materials. Um, I'm going to talk about color selection in a second, but body materials. If you dub a fly, try global dubbing. That's synthetic or straight rabbit body fur, your hairline dubbing, any color under the sun. Great stuff. See, I like it. Purples, whatever. Uh, chenille. Chenille is a much overlooked material. Great stuff for sear and cutthroat flies. Yarn. Uni makes a yarn. It's called uni yarn. Imagine that. It's thin. It's really easy to tie with. You can make bodies as thin or as thick as you want to by making multiple wraps. It's just fuzzy enough. I'll show you tying for sea run flies with this later. Excellent, excellent material. A tinsel. Sometimes just a for a minnow pattern or a butt on a sea run cutthroat fly. The Lagerton Mini Flat Braid. So color selection. Go back. Do we have any of Les Johnson's books? In the new edition. You've got an old okay. one there, but the, new, edition, the new one's out. Great book to, to look at. Kind of the historic stuff. Pictures of flies in there. The materials that they had. It's really fun to look back. If you look at the colors, yellow is a very dominant color in their patterns. I don't think they had a single pink in there. Pink's one of our go-to colors these days. Why didn't they do it then? I don't know. Maybe because Bob Borden wasn't around. You'll see purples. You'll see blacks. You'll see reds, oranges, olives. The most common colors back then, and the ones you really need to have in your serum flies, are the yellows, the oranges, and the reds. Got to have them. Purples and blacks, sure, got to have them, but you don't have to have them quite as much as with these others. Olives, kind of natural, and the, and the silvers and the golds. So, again, if I had to choose, if I had to choose three colors, red, yellow, orange, and I would have to throw in pink. Feathers, feather selection, hack selection is a big deal. Uh, I've seen feathers become available and then unavailable over the years. 
Um, here, here's something that we've always had and you probably always will have. And these are strung Grizzly Variant Saddle Hackles. They're great. You've got to sort through them. Uh, here's a natural, fantastic hackle. Yellow, orange, brown. It's difficult to get large brown hackles these days. Great stuff. Uh, hairline is going to die up for us. Some hot pinks. We'll have them in the next week. Do not overlook these. Um, they're, they're excellent. Um, the, your intruder saddles, the dyed uh, grizzly saddles in different colors. Uh, a lot of these, you don't use the tips, but you go down near the base of the hackle and you use the webby part at the base. These are fantastic. We can get, we can get these too. Uh, one thing you won't see me talk about is badger. It's really difficult to get badger hackles. Badger was a traditional hackle. Uh, can we live without it? Yeah, we are. Use a grizzly instead. Oh, here's what I'm going to show you. This is an amazing find. And so these hackles you've been talking about are pretty specific to sea run cutthroat. I mean, when, well, you, when you say traditional, so, I mean, so, we're talking... So, so, so you, you wouldn't use something like this for a steelhead fly, typically. Yeah. Uh, but you would use this. So there's some crossover. Yeah, there's a lot of crossover. But what I'm talking, I'm talking about a, a hackle that has some web, um, that has a range where you can go, say, from a size six down to a ten. And th those are kind of hard to come by, and yeah. that's where the strong saddles. You, you can't use that every feather. You have to sort through them. They seem a little big to me if I grab them out of the package. Um, they're not. So that you're parts of the yes, feather. Sea run cutthroat flies, um, it's okay to have hackle that's a little bit on the long side. Okay. Unless you're fishing small flies, and then you don't want it on the long side. Here's the find, and what's this called? An American saddle clump. These are, you, you can get them in browns. Got good availability of these right now, this year. Don't yet know about next year. Look at these browns. It, it's I'd call this a furnace, but see that, that's got better size to me. Yeah, it's got this is very got nice. Excellent, excellent size for the smaller sea run flies. Yeah. Now, here's a grizzly dyed burnt orange. Fantastic. Now again, you don't use the tip of that. This feather. You'd use the webby portion probably right in this part of the feather, and then you save the tips for something else. But look at the colors hot orange, grizzly dyed olive, grizzly dyed burnt orange. We got a black, we got a natural grizzly. And I'm going to tie with each of these. These are excellent value at like uh, $5.95. $5.95, I knew that. Excellent value, excellent feather. You can also you can use the tips on your dry flies, on your stimulators. You can use them for intruders. Use the webby part for your sea run flies. There you go. Great stuff.